Hey guys, I'm out in the garage today, and the reason I am doing this video is kind of a buyer beware. Um, a little bit of backstory on what's going on. I purchased this absolutely awesome gauge set off of eBay, and um, with the intention of doing a restoration on it, even though it doesn't really need too much. Um, the issue is not with the cluster. The issue was is that I was doing some research and ran across a uh, really nice guy in another forum that had run into an issue with the sticker restoration kit. Now, if you know me and you've been in the shop on the flat spot, we actually offer a uh, decal restoration kit. So I was quick to kind of jump in and be like, what kit did you use? And surprisingly enough, the kit that he used was not this one. It was this kit here. This kit is available through Dennis Carpenter, and also the same kit is available through LMC. Um, so the, he ran into issues with, um, with mainly his speedometer. The other ones worked fine, so that wasn't really that big a deal. After talking to him and kind of sympathizing with the issue that he had, um, I offered him a free version of uh, the one that my company has been making for five years in exchange for this kit, which he sent me. When I pulled it out of the package, I was actually pretty surprised. And I mean, just, just for further proof, it is a Dennis Carpenter kit. Um, I'm surprised at how wrong this particular one is. Now, the die cuts for the four-speed and the standard um, are exactly the same. So that was why I asked him uh, to send me this. And mainly, I also wanted to, to get him a kit that actually worked. So let me jump in. And the first issue that he ended up having was uh, mainly with the, the, the die cut of the odometer. So... The issue is, is that um, the actual opening for the stock odometer window is actually a lot wider and also a lot narrower. So it doesn't really matter how good you are at placing this decal. Um, you're basically going to be able to see the original face underneath the sticker. And a lot of times, which was the case with this particular customer, um, this window is actually too high. So he ended up having to cut the decal uh, down and open more. And by the time he was done, you could actually see the window open above the hole. And the 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 Speedo, unfortunately, was kind of ruined at that point. He ended up having to pull the sticker back off. And that's when he jumped into the forum and started asking questions. Um, with this particular gauge kit, I'm honestly really surprised that, uh, especially with the quality of other Dennis Carpenter parts, that this was this is honestly still available right now. Um, I don't know how they haven't gotten just massive complaints on it. Um, the other thing that I noticed right away is that um, this particular decal kit is labeled 1948 to 1952. And for those of you that aren't really familiar with these trucks, um, this is a 1948 to 1950 gauge set. 51 and 52 are a completely different gauge. So that should have been an indicator right there that whoever Dennis Carpenter and LMC are buying this from have never actually seen the gauge kit that they designed this for. Um, so that was kind of a shock, um, and it kind of sent me down the rabbit hole of, I went and I bought a kit a while back from, this one is from C&J Ford Parts. Um, the, the die cuts for this one are actually perfect, and they left out the odometer and the center hole, and that's actually a really good idea, and I'll explain why in a minute. So the issue that I ran into this kit was if you can look at the two, this has an awful color. It's like a gray green color that honestly, by the time you're done restoring your gauge set, makes your gauges look dingy and they look dirty. It, I don't know why they went with this instead of like a white or an eggshell. Um, honestly, like anybody that actually uses this kit, I, I can't imagine that they're happy with their gauges when it's done. So... 
this is the kit that, that Coop Custom Accessories has been making for about five years now. We've never had an issue with it. Um, I have used it for the Speedo only. And the reason is, is I wanted to mock one up and, and actually see how they apply and make sure that everything worked perfectly. The reason that we don't cut the odometer in the center hole is actually pretty, pretty simple. Um, when you're setting that gauge on to, or setting the sticker onto the gauge, a lot of times you're going to get it shifted back and forth just a little bit. Um, with a die cut already there, provided that it's actually correct. Um, a lot of times that window will kind of be off center a little bit and the, the background for your gauge will actually, uh, be visible. So this way you actually use the hole for the odometer to cut the hole and allow the decal to kind of fold in as this isn't flat. It's actually got a little bit of a bevel to it. So it, it gives you that, that wiggle room that you're going to need, um, to install this gauge perfectly and get a really, really good result. So the last thing that I kind of wanted to bring up was the price point. The price point honestly really shocked me with these kits. Um, this particular kit from LMC and from Dennis Carpenter will run you about $52, which honestly really kind of upsets me because you're going to, regardless of which gauge you're going to do, you're going to end up with a sticker that you don't need. So why not remove that one sticker like they did in these kits, bring your price point down and actually not give somebody something that they're not going to use. Um, out of the three kits, this was the most expensive from CNJ. This one will actually run you about 60 bucks, which is absurd. I don't know how they're charging that much and how they're actually moving any units. Our kit will run you $39.99. It's also available at uh, Midwest Ford Parts. And we're honestly in the process of contacting both of these companies to see if they want to move over to this product because, again, I can't imagine that they're not getting complaints with both of these. The fact that both of these two are still in the market is honestly kind of upsetting because people are just getting screwed on it. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, to reach out and talk to me, ask any questions that you have. Um, if you want to grab a set, um, I actually think they're a little bit cheaper on the uh, Flatspot website. Um, but go ahead and jump on and grab one. If you Again, if you have any questions, let me know and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.